And why don't we stay at the fourth with Minji Lee of Australia with three pars to begin her round. And she broke the sequence there with a birdie. So Minji with eight iron up the hill. Wind just getting up a little. This is a good line, might come up a bit short though. Oh, no, it's releasing on. Good shot. Yeah, centre of the green. Back to nine. Somebody go out and knock that hole back into shape. Okay, Minji, what have you got? It's a per perfect, perfect number. A nine iron. If it's that 140 landed on that, it'll be a perfect shot. Lovely. We mentioned the importance of 10 for Sung Hyun Park. Very important for okay. Minji as well because she had a bit of a patch at 10 and 11 yesterday, and today she walks off with a birdie. What a difference a day makes. And Minji Lee at nine under has joined Sung Hyun Park in the lead. Wow. Well, this is equally as fast as it was slow the other way. Oh, goodness me. She three putted the seventh for a bogey. She's got four feet left. But it's a bogey for Minji Lee. Drops back to eight under par, Sun Hyung Park and area Jatanagan. Those Rolex rankings don't lie. The world number one and two share the lead now. So Minji, it's 190 to the pin, but that isn't the number. It's 160 is the number that she's focusing on. Good strike here. And it's got to carry the bunker if it does. And get that kick forward and that's another perfect shot. You can walk away with a two putt par. That's all you ask for on 12. Oh, Minji. Minji had the advantage of watching the pace of Aries' chip come down. I can't tell you that that little chip had to have extreme caution because this is a fast part. Maybe thought it was a little bit too fast. Well, as Minji lines this part, this is really important for momentum, isn't it? To always think around 12, 13. It's when you've got to keep your round together so that you can get another kick on. Good two putt. Real good looking pin here to attack. And this one starts high, starts straight at it. And if it's the right club, it is almost perfect. Oh, it's the right club. And that's a great shot into a par five. Settle down. It did. <laughs> well, this hole today is really one that you want to take advantage of, isn't it? It's an obvious birdie hole with the length of it gets your drive away, but G and Eagle here pick up that extra one. And I talked about keeping momentum going and how important that shortish putt was on the 12th because now here's that huge opportunity that you do get the momentum rolling again. And that's what sport's all about. It's about holding on while your concentration just wanes a little bit, get through that and then go again. Gotta go. Should be good for a birdie from there though. Right at the top of their game from South Korea. Minji's chance of a birdie at 14 comes up a little shy as well. Tough to hold any punts at the 14th. So she'll stay one back. Area's touch was good. Minji's wasn't too bad either. But it wasn't in the middle of the club face. I'm pretty sure of that. As Minji has, she's looked at the line, visualised it, and this is looking pretty good. Yeah. Wow, what a putt. And the gap is back to one. Well, Minji with 150 but she doesn't want to hit it 150 she wants it at that front edge there's a shoulder on the left side hits there which it looks like it will it'll feed down to the pin probably just needed about three more feet and it would have fed down some more let's go 
Back to the putting action once again at 18. It's a tough putt to read because you've got the shoulder on Minji's backside there that's going to push it right, but it wants to then fall to the right towards the hole. Tied for 10th place. So tomorrow, the world number one and the world number three are going to duke it out again. They'll be eyeballing each other all of the way. 67 for Minji. 